Uh, hello, uh, this is Bearden. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Great. Uh, today we have uh, Christina. She is a painter and artist. Uh, Christina did an interview with us at the Brick uh, the other week, and uh, this is a follow up uh, interview and meeting uh, in the boardroom. Uh, today, Christina will uh, pitch uh, her work as the painter uh, and uh, explain why everybody should buy her paintings and uh, maybe we will represent her. The idea that we spoke with Christina is following. Uh, Christina is an artist and uh, she lives in the future, in today's world, when the uh, galleries and the uh, art dealers are left behind. Christina sells her paintings directly uh, to the clients and uh, Christina moves in the future. So let's hear what Christina has to offer. Hi, Christina. Well, hello, Mr. Great again. Uh, my name is Christina Rebecca Romachkan, and yes, I'm a, a painter, I'm an artist, and I've lived in the Netherlands for the last eight, nine years, and I came back to New York. I've been here for four or five months, and uh, thank you for inviting me for the second time on your show, Mr. Great. It's a, it's a great pleasure for me also. I see that you're still wearing your uh, uh, That's right. painted uh, clothing line. That's but right. Explain to us why people should uh, buy your paintings. Why should they buy this shirt? Why should they buy this mask? Well, uh, actually, a lot of people like my work. I work with why a lot of. Why do you like your work? Well, first, I uh, use different kind of medium. I experiment with texture and form and color. And, and what's, I am what's unique. The experiment about? I am unique in the Netherlands. I won best artist in Holland mm -hmm. okay. from uh, 300 artists. And I'm like a scientist, and I put a lot of feeling in my work. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, this mask or uh, the things, uh, the clothes I customize, it has. I do it in the moment, and so it has all that energy and the feeling of my being. I, I put myself in my work, and that's what you know. That I think what makes me different because. I mm -hmm. guess every artist can speak for themselves, but for me, I put myself what, in my work. What, like, a lot of people say they're different. What actually is different about your art? It how, how, and, if, and the second question is, what? how do you define what's art, what's not? Yeah, so I guess to answer your first question is, you know, what makes me different? What makes me different as a whole is who I am as a person, where I come from, my life experiences. Because my life experiences, living in different countries, uh, learning certain things, uh, okay. and putting it all together, what makes me separate from others? I okay, mean, so it's our experience. I can, yeah. Uh, to be a devil's advocate, uh, one can say that a lot of people diff different live in different countries. A lot of people uh, uh, paint, paint different things. So uh, to make make uh, closer to the money in art, what do you need? How much money? Uh, how much? What kind of influence do you need? And uh, what? Uh, how much are you willing to give away? So, yeah, okay. Thank you for the questions. You put a lot of things together. Yes, a lot of people live in different countries, and like I said, it's also the way I perceive reality. It's how I express myself, and so I interpret reality and I put it out through my work, through painting, with working with my feelings, and so. Uh, different artists, everybody can express but themselves. What's the feeling here? Now, Let's talk about uh, uh, One is, second is to go back to, to the previous thing. What I wanted to do, you asked me a question. So uh, what I wanted to do is one thing that I do also is I paint life. I've painted life uh, doing different projects in the Netherlands. I painted the car life. You will see and, that in a minute. And I, I completely, uh, I work in the moment with everything that inspires me in the environment. So I painted a smart car. I've painted mannequins. Uh, I've done different kinds of uh, um, uh, different things where I paint life in the museum, at the Hermitage Museum in Amsterdam. And so one thing that I really enjoy is I paint to music. And so I feel I need to feel that energy, that vibration. And so um, I would like to work with Lady Gaga. She's I like her before she be became mm -hmm. even known. Also Amy Winehouse. Unfortunately, she's not with us, but Amy Winehouse is is one of my favorites. And um, I want to paint on stage live. So if you see some of the work I've done, I've painted live in Israel uh, in October, doing art and uh, theater festival. Mm -hmm. I put the canvas on the floor. I wrote it out I have all my medium and I just do something in the moment 
So inspired by all things that happen and I throw paint, I use liquid paint, I use spray, I use my stencils, I do freestyle completely. And so I would like to work with musicians mm -hmm. and, and uh, artists that inspire me and, and make uh, live projects. That's what and, I would like. And what people will get when they uh, buy your art? Are they getting those emotions? Are they getting the uh, uh, yeah, feelings? Uh, w w what are they buying? Um, they're getting a part of the produ production is expensive, so the paint That's is right. expensive, the right. uh, uh, equipment is expensive, but, it, but that people don't care when they buy yeah. uh, what what kind of uh, you know media well, you use. Like, what are they getting? The, the first thing that they buy, in a way, they buy, uh, I guess, a part of my soul because I I, I paint from my from my soul. I paint from my from Feels my like a very and if, so if it's if very I'm personal. A, Every if painting. I'm a normal person and I'm buying a soul, it, it doesn't make me a good person. No, buy not a soul. It's like soul. a de devil yeah. can buy a soul. No, oh. but every painting has a part of my soul. It has my energy because I created it putting my being into my work. I put my being into my work. So as you get, you know, people are attracted to it. A lot of mm -hmm. people, they sometimes uh, I have expressionism, uh, expressionist paintings. There is no subject really. So when you look at a painting, you see a lot of paint and you see texture, but people get attracted to the feeling that they get from the painting. And it's something you can't explain. Explain everyone has their own uh, interpretation and their own reason you why they're attracted to the, to the painting. You don't have a gallery. You don't have the art uh, the dealer so you sell art uh, directly to your uh, your clients uh, uh, my question to you is uh, what is your technique how do you sell uh, directly to your clients what do you do so why people love your paintings and why they buy it so um, for the years I've worked in the Netherlands and I've had exhibitions also in the UN mm -hmm. and US but I worked always with galleries and the gallery establishes the price and now so that so I'm in New York I have before now I'm in New York mm -hmm. and I, uh -huh. I work directly with clients so you see the future is the working directly Absolutely. in the old for hundreds of years we worked through the galleries but nowadays with Instagram and Facebook and all this social media you can see real life yeah. artist who is dealing directly with her clients and exactly. cut off the middleman so all the money you as a client when you know that spend is not going to the middleman to galleries to all this overhead it goes directly to the artist so she can produce more work and she can uh, live off uh, the production i think that's a very noble a gesture so people who worry that their money will primarily go to the all the middlemen people in the middle uh, would be yeah. interested to so maybe work with you yeah directly. absolutely so what i would like to do is uh, to get commissioned uh, for a painting so somebody can find me and uh, find me through social media and mm -hmm. whatever and uh, commission me for a painting for a project directly to me and so mm -hmm. in a way that i am using my creativity some artists say they don't like the business part mm -hmm. but for me i'm using my creative uh, my creative nature also to to manage my own business and so it is that i kind of cut out the middleman and okay. so just directly going to to the source community the other day when we spoke on the phone uh i mentioned uh, one of the businesses that i do which is uh, uh drop shipment for the art and you said that you might be interested uh so let's talk about it for a second um so for the audience who don't know the uh, drop shipment works when the artist uh, gives me the painting, or not the painting itself, just a picture, and I cut the name and the uh, signature and just post it in our magazine. Everybody's equal there. Uh, people can see, you know, different artists, different work. If they want to buy, they buy it, and uh, then the artist uh, ship the the painting. That's the moment when you receive your first painting you receive or it's obviously with a signature you receive it with a story about the artist and you have the chance to start collecting this particular artist mm -hmm. christina is one of our artists that will plan to feature in the next uh, uh magazine so now you know who is behind uh, those paintings uh, so hopefully uh people who are interested in her work uh, would be able to see 
uh, or, or painting that we choose for the uh, magazine. Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Great. Actually, I, I, I like that idea because you know, in in uh, in, uh, in in art, it's all fair. So before, uh, I like the idea that you present all these different paintings without putting the name next to it because a lot of people, you know, it's a business. So a lot, a lot of people, people will tend to get attracted to the name without really actually liking the piece, and so you give everyone the same chance. So I really like that idea. It's not, someone gets the cover page, someone gets the last page. So it's yeah. also it's not hundred percent equal, but it's yeah, but still. Uh, it's uh, equalized a little bit. Uh, the, the without this, putting this, uh, the, the name next to it, that's mm -hmm. right. Because yes, then people is. buy it because they like. Mm -hmm. That's why people buy my paintings. It's not in the future, of course. I don't know. In the future, they will maybe buy because of my name, but they buy because they love it. Mm -hmm. And so, as an artist, that's okay. my goal. I so like. So let's that. talk about the future. Uh, what are you doing today? Uh, to make your paintings worth more tomorrow than uh, than today. Let's say you s when you start, maybe you charge a thousand dollars for painting. Nowadays, you charge maybe three, five thousand dollars a painting. Uh, in the future, probably your paintings will be uh, fifty, sixty thousand dollar a painting. W how? What are you doing so it uh, moves to the next level? Yeah, so Mr. Great, you know, um, in in the art world, it is all about marketing, and so. Uh, ironically, it's actually I have some paintings of uh, Donald Trump. I made new paintings when I arrived here in New York. That's called Introducing Donald Trump. I have also a painting with uh, Rebel Lubavitch. I have a few paintings that have a specific subject. And um, uh, now I'm working on three new pieces that I should finish by the end of the week. And I would like to show you after when I finish. Okay. Uh, also with the Trump family and Melania. But uh, so. To, to tell you how it works, it's about marketing, it is about social media. So for instance, if I'm able to connect with Ivanka Trump and I present the painting to her, then of course uh, the value will right away go up. And so in some way, yeah. it is, it's all interconnected, it's mm -hmm. very much alive. Okay. And so uh, how, to, how I make it more through social media, I think. Okay. I have to become better at it because but I'm developing. Uh, I think the creating art is imp what makes it better. I think year by year you become a better artist and your technique gets well, better. Of course, yeah. And uh, I think the if the co people who collect you uh, have the name and recognition in the world, and the, if other people see that you can start collecting museums by your art, uh, the uh, uh, famous uh, collectors uh, pay attention to you that uh, tr can translate oh, yeah, of course, there is more interest in your, uh, your uh, work in that. Yeah, this is automatically, so as an artist for the last few years, of course my techniques have evolved. I started 20 years ago painting in Cubism Surrealism, which comes very natural to me, just, you know, uh, putting all these things together. Then I moved into Expressionism, my techniques have evolved. Mm -hmm. My work, I think as an artist, I grew, and of course I continuously evolve, inspired by things, and people collect my paintings, I have a few permanent clients that have my, my work and um, I don't have it in a museum yet but I will I think it's possible my first museum will be in Tel Aviv the Tel Aviv Whoa. Museum of Modern Art because I make uh, I started a huge painting how do you get your way in a museum you have to know someone or you in have that to have case, a really awesome uh, work like uh, people vouch for you how do you get to the museum so I will tell you for in this case uh, in Tel Aviv in Israel um, I was this summer in Israel and um, I had a friend his name is Honia Magel and he was a known filmmaker in Tel Aviv and he he was a friend and we did collaboration he put me in his movies also and uh, he passed away this summer from a heart attack and he had a group a performance group for uh, over 20 years called Smartut and he uh, so in the summer he released a new movie a new movie uh, called The End and also a book and he passed away 3 days before the release so um, so and uh, in his performance uh, through the years he performed with his casket he so in any case we went to the to the funeral then we went to the release of his movie in Tel Aviv museum uh, before he passed away actually he got all the exposure he, he finally really got recognized as a, I mean he was known already but he got really recognized as mm -hmm. an artist so he received a lot of honor by uh, so as by he passed away but so may I by finish? working with him 
important people uh, you no so no? Uh, uh, he uh, in October he was supposed to be featured with his group in Akko and there is a city in Israel called Akko in Akko film and theater uh, festival which goes for three days we continued with the performance after he passed away so I was invited as an artist as a painter with other actors and we did the performance for three days I started a new painting to, as a tribute to Honya Megel, as a friend, as an artist, I started a large piece, a big one, and I'm going to make it as a as a 16 chapel, a story yeah. of Honya Megel with his life. So I put him as an angel in the middle. I took an image and so, so uh, he already have uh, the recognition in Tel Aviv Museum. They put permanently something in his memory uh, because he as he passed away, and so this painting. I started doing the festival, I left it now in Tel Aviv, when I go back, uh, probably it will take me, I don't know, a few months, I will finish it, it's a big piece, uh, yeah. and then like we will present to, it to the Tel Aviv. I have to cut you off, because it's, yeah. you will go, go on and on, on, on. I think your paintings have a little to also tendency, like it's covered completely. So like, uh, 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 like uh, uh, is that uh, the, it's the not message? Finished. <laughs> it's not even finished. No, well, so it's, you it's, see, it's, no, it's not it's finished. So what I do is I build texture on texture. For instance, some of my paintings have a, a subject. And so, you know, it's never finished, but I have to learn to find the balance when I work and cut myself off. And so in expressionism, I can build on many techniques and I continue to build. It but drives when Lady Gaga writes her song, you cannot add extra note to it or you cannot remove something. Of course. It's, it's, uh, it's, it is uh, what it's it is. It's art by itself. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the... Uh, I don't know, like uh, Madonna or... Like That's a, right, uh, everything uh, ends up uh, like is you can't add extra to this uh, painting or remove something everything is it's done piece it's yeah so I, I yeah so i think in in painting i have the freedom to and of course i accept it as it is for instance some paintings i just say okay now i stop working on it that's it because you just i can a continue hard stop, you, you, you sometimes stop. i i stop sometimes i have to it is a process and so as an yeah. artist as uh -huh. i continue to evolve I'm learning, uh, I'm evolving with my work and so I'm learning to to cut myself off at some point and say this is now finished. This is about finding that balance uh -huh. because uh, you know okay. this is visual and emotional balance so when you, uh, you, you evolve as an artist and you learn to find that balance so uh, Got it. Yeah. Guys we're gonna uh, run out of time uh, so thank you so much for listening so guys, uh, what I did is I asked our painter to do a painting of me in New York City in 10 minutes. So I will time her and under pressure, me talking, Christina will try to produce uh, art for you so you can see how it's get done. She will work in a freestyle work and let's see, right now it's 3.21. And Christina can start now. <laughs> so uh, recently I've been at the uh, New York uh, art exhibition and uh, I saw quite a few uh, artists uh, freestyle during the exhibition and it's uh, let me tell you it's a long process and it's a difficult process you need to have your music you need to have your inspiration you need to have your uh, you know uh, references. Uh, it, it's not that easy to uh, get something uh, on the fly under pressure with people watching. I'm getting a lot of your back. Okay, all right. Thank you. That's right. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. I'm getting too much So uh, Canali is behind the camera, and he is our producer, operator and the host uh, for tonight uh, and uh, thanks to him the production is get done as you know I am Mr. Great and Christina is just the, the most awesome artist of today who came to uh, produce this uh, work on, in front of you, your eyes um, one of the things that we plan to do with Christina we're planning to uh, do the uh, posters in New York City and uh, the painting that she has done with the Trump family uh, uh, coming off Donald Trump 
we might be able to see it in Midtown. That's uh, her work, and uh, when we will have exhibition at the uh, Russian model uh, competition, uh, Christina will have her auction, hopefully, and the exhibition uh, during the process. Yeah. Uh, we also <coughs> uh, plan to have the uh, drop shipment uh, agreement with Christina, wh which means that. So much back. I don't know if I had to turn the curtains to turn it a little more. I guess we need back a little too much from that. Okay. Yeah, if you can stay to the side a little more. Okay. That would be nice. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I had a little glimpse of uh, her work and I find it's a little bit uh, sexy. And, uh, looking uh, maybe a model with a uh, beautiful uh, chest, uh, breast. Maybe uh, that's how uh, Christina see me. Maybe uh, it's my uh, models around uh, around my show. We'll see uh, the vision, the artistic vision, what she has in mind for me and for New York City. Uh, uh, I was at the point uh, of the uh, drop shipment deal. So when you see uh, the magazine and the works, you would not be able to see Christina's name or the other artist's name. Uh, you, you have to uh, guess who who done which work and whether you want to buy it or not. And only once you purchase the painting, uh, that's when you get the, the buyer on the artist and you would be able to see the signature and you see the rest of the painting. But uh, in the magazine you'll see just the uh, cropped version of the painting. Uh, in order to get the whole painting, actual physical, you, you, you gotta buy it. Uh, and that's how the drop shipment works. Um, what else uh, would be interesting about Christina? We've done a uh, photo shoot and, and video production with uh, Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn uh, Public Access TV the other week in the mini studio. And uh, I think uh, the references that uh, came with Christina, um, Phil, who you will see later on today on the set. Uh, introduced us and uh, I think Christina is a, f a fine artist and uh, as uh, to me uh, her work uh, resonates in many ways uh, first of all she has Jewish background I do uh, I'm a Jewish uh, we both uh, have, speak Russian we both live in the United States uh, we both travel to Amsterdam and other places so uh, we are in many ways are uh, similar in uh, and uh, and those things uh, uh, resonate, at least with me. Uh, hopefully, uh, that uh, our work is not distracting you, and uh, or my, my voice actually not distracting you from watching how the art is getting created. It's really important to see the distinction between just someone drawing for fun and someone actually creating art. Some would argue that any uh, work, you can see the art. Okay, let her do the work here and then uh, sh uh, Christina will move. That's a mystery. And uh, y y you gotta have uh, some uh, kind of uh, uh, patience audience and uh, you would be able to see the, the work uh, at the end. But the initially, it's really, really important that uh, the artists get you know a little bit of privacy we're not giving her that now she's under the gun she's under the lights and cameras and the people are in front of her uh, face so it's not like you someone artist working with a, a familiar uh, brushes and familiar strokes it, it's a lot of pressure to make someone uh, to work in those conditions it's like similar to models that model for me in, in a show uh, you have to stand up you have yeah the pla yes the platform is there for you but you still have to uh whether it's a swimwear or lingerie or like a dress you have to you'll have to wear something and stand on a stage and walk and smile in front of stranger photographers so it, it, it's a lot of work for models and uh, it takes a lot of guts uh and uh, double this if you see a painter an artist uh, who is doing uh, the work uh, and uh willing to show her feelings 
under the judgmentship of the uh, audience and uh, people. Um, let me shut up for a minute so you can enjoy uh, her work. I'll just remind Christina that we have now it's uh, 3.28 so we have a few more minutes left but uh, we might give her a few more minutes but let's see how much work uh, could be done in uh, 10 minutes a slot without preparation without uh, practicing that's all it's one story is when someone practiced that a couple of times and then just repeats the work and a different story when someone just have been asked on a sp and put on a spot to do it in front of the lights and cameras and uh, in, in the studio uh, so that tells you that artists in the present year and uh, who has the ability to create on the fly someone like me probably would not be able to do even a, a fraction of uh, what Christina have done for you I see some buildings, that's my head. I see uh, my bow tie, so it's my signature uh, uh, thing, so I'm often uh, wearing bow ties. Uh, I, I can see uh, my curly hair, so I kind of recognize the, the message and uh, the champagne looks like uh, uh, we'll have some, some attention uh, from the uh, audience um, uh, even this work would not take that much time but uh, if anyone would like to buy it uh, Christina will have that uh, drawing available for sale and it's uh, actually uh, not that easy to pre reproduce uh, as you can see uh, I gave to Christina three uh, uh, color of markers and she has been using just one for now two, two, two. I forgot oh. I forgot the other <laughs> I'm stressing you see that, that's a lot of pressure when I when forgot <laughs> okay. Okay. okay so let's get the instructions out and uh Okay, so now we're getting a little bit of color. There is only two, there are two colors, red and black. And red and black. Yeah. So the we have the white white canvas and red and black to work with. White paper. And red, red is not, not really red yet. So it's, it's even more difficult assignment than this. Okay. Perhaps uh, if anyone would like to take the classes of painting, maybe uh, we can ask Christina uh, to teach a class or so. Uh, I'm thinking about... But real uh, painting, yeah. <laughs> real painting. painting. I'm, this I'm is thinking really for my daughter, my yeah, son. Yeah, no, I, I use mixed media, a lot of paint and different kind of paint and I throw. And so for now, this is not like, like kind of quick sketching. I don't know what this is. Okay, we have we run out of time, so it's uh, three thirty-one. Let's give her a minute to finish up. But uh, that's basically what the eleven minutes uh, can produce. Okay, so we we see already uh, the signature coming up. And let me ring the bell. So getting ready to finish. Are we done? Yes, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can say it's done. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, Guys, it's not totally done, but... Uh, Canelli will give you a little bit of uh, uh, 
to look in, uh, on the painting. Uh, Christina, if you can step uh, aside for a second. Let, uh, so the red just get well, the card full on the red, so let me change it. The, well, the card is full? On the red, so let me change it so I can get out of the shot. Okay, good. Do we, have, do we have a second card or just one? Yeah, I have a second one. Each card holds 540, 512 gigs. Oh my god. This is 508, we film already. I'll move it in half a terabyte. Wow. That's amazing. We uh, produce even, the painting is done by professional artists, but uh, Akaneli is using today the red uh, the, uh, camera and obviously it takes quite a bit of space and uh, we just uh, in a few short uh, images uh, like our productions we uh, went through the half of terabyte uh, of the data. Okay, are we good? So let, let's... Uh, okay. on. I'm getting some shots of this though. We're gonna get ready for the next uh, performer today, and let's Are you getting details? The strokes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, let me do So, th few options how that uh, painting can end up one maybe Christina will give it to a Canelli or maybe Christina will bring it to her exhibition I, I'm sure that my wife would not let me put anything of that uh, stage uh, on the at home especially with the lady on the other side unless uh, uh, Christina will make sure that Th that's my wife or something. Uh, less <laughs> One uh, second. Uh, offense. <laughs> so we will have artists explaining <laughs> uh, what uh, she meant by this. So I, I see the dollar signs, my favorite numbers. I, I see that uh, uh, it's a little bit. Oh, it is actually me. It, it is me actually Mr. Great. <laughs> One uh, second. <laughs> so we'll have the artists explain. And what's taking place here? And now, now that my name is on on the painting, I obviously. Uh, what is your wife's name? Lana. 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 Svita. The American folks would not be able to pronounce Svetlana, that's why they uh, she go by uh, Lana, like me. Um, people cannot call me Alexander Gurman, they, they get to call me Mr. Great because I'm so great. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, Christina is wearing a special line of uh, pants and a, a t-shirt. It's not by mistake, Christina is a, an, uh, an artist who uses different canvases. She is using the a mannequin or a mask or a pants or t-shirt to paint on and it's available for sale and uh, if you like that busy and that uh, artistic look uh, 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 Christina, you can reach out to Christina directly Actually this is just my painting pens but I, I make real specific work sometimes so this is just my working pens mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes that I customize uh, Helps for inspiration so if you paint and you get something like that it gets you, gives you confidence if you want to be on stage, if you want to do something uh, a, a little bit of, if not a soul, but a little bit of confidence from Christina is passed to you so y y you can uh, do what y you do and uh, uh, in the one of a kind uh, pants. And uh, uh, the arrangements could be done directly with Christina. Uh, Christina at the moment is not using the art galleries or dealers. Um, it's uh, cut out all the mi middlemen and you can talk to the artist directly and uh, that way you're not just getting the best price but you're also certain that all the money 
that you pay for the or pants or t-shirt or painting will go directly to the artist rather than uh, staying in the intermediaries. Uh, I think uh, we need to stop, Christina. Yeah, because, let's uh, stop because I will continue. Because we, we, we have no, no space on our red camera, which takes uh, quite a bit of uh, space. But uh, as you can see, uh, Christina is no bullshit artist. It's actually <laughs> re re really cool. And uh, to get someone uh, out of their comfort zone, a painter who likes a, to yeah. use the, the re real paint. I and use acrylic. real paint. I throw paint. I use liquid paint. I I put use the canvas on the floor and I put I make things in the movement. I move the canvas around and. I mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And this is the production of her work. Well, Can you explain? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this is <laughs> it's very quick. I, I next time if we do it, I would like to maybe use more markers. These markers okay. are not very strong we're color. No, we're, gonna, we're gonna use next time the paint. Yeah, I prefer <laughs> that actually. But for now, so well, this is the story of New York City. You know, you have the bottle of champagne with the bubbles coming out, but the champagne mm -hmm. I didn't totally finish the bottle, but. You know, Mr. Great, you got the dollar signs. Oh, the, the champagne, the custom-made champagne that I make for the month. That's right. Okay. So here's champagne bottle, and here uh -huh. you have and the, the bubbles. bubbles. Oh, by, by, oh, it says you, here, champagne for all. Oh, it's written here, I champagne so for all. A message that I feed everybody and the food and drinks for everybody. Got it. And the bubbles, uh, I think, symbolize the... Uh, I do the uh, when I, a series of uh, photography when I ask my models to put their face in the water and I take pictures in the aquarium un under the, in, uh, under the aquarium. So I want the you know their uh, lipstick to bleed, their mascara to bleed, and I when I take those pictures in, in the water uh, from the water. So those bubbles are in there. I, I can see that. Yeah. So here you have New York city life. Uh, here you have uh, first I started with the here it's written New York also. I started here, it's a city life here in New York. Uh, I started with the model first, but there is a female present because first you work also with females and then I wrote Lana because you just mentioned <laughs> your wife's name is Lana. So I had to include Lana so we can say this is, and this is, you know, this is you and you're wearing a little tuxedo and you know, Mr. Great. So this is, this is the, the, the life of, uh, you know, um, New York fashion, uh, Women, it's a fun life. It's a, it's a, it's a not extravagant life, but it's the city. It's a full city life. Whatever you want to make it, it is that. But it's, it's a good. It's happy, you know. It has mm -hmm. drinking and partying. And I see and the, the best colors: black, very serious, and uh, red lipstick. What else you you, you want? So with the very limited resources and the, the very limited timing, true artists prevail thank you <laughs> thank you guys thank you next time i will paint cut <laughs>